Today, we have this beautiful 2019 on a 19 registration BMW M5 Saloon. Uh, this particular car is a non-competition car, which actually we think there's not much difference between the two because in the non-competition, it's a softer sprung car, so it's much more comfortable on the roads, but you've still got 600 horsepower, which is more than enough for what you'd ever need on the UK roads. Uh, this example is finished in our opinion the best color scheme of marina bay blue metallic with the silverstone full marina merino leather interior and it's got a lovely specification lots of cost options over and above a standard m5 which we'll talk you through as we go around the car but it's a two owner car from new and a full bmw main dealer service history and it's just had in january of 2023 so january of this year a major service by bmw carried out so and being an M car, biannual servicing, so not due for quite a while. Uh, so lovely to know that. Uh, starting at the front end, these kidney grills, a lot of cars have got the chrome kidney grills, especially on non-competitions. This car's fitted with the gloss black, so I think it goes very nicely with the gloss black wheels, which we'll show you in a second. And then in between the kidney grills, you'll see the camera there. So that's the forward facing camera for the 3D surround camera system that this car's got fitted. Down beneath the number plate in this lower grille here, you'll see there's a radar. That is for the adaptive cruise control. Again, a cost option. There'll be a lot of cars out there where this is just one solid grille piece with no radar in, but this car has got that fitted. So again, another, another lovely cost option. And then the headlights are the BMW adaptive LED headlights with the automatic high beam assist. You can tell they're adaptive by the uh, sort of centerpiece going through the center of both of the eyes there and still the traditional angel eye daytime running lights uh, around the edges there as well. A really good light in the nighttime. Coming around the sides, we've got these 20 inch gloss black uh, dual spoke wheels. Again, a really good looking wheel, especially when they're all gloss black like this. And then the blue M calipers behind the wheels just there. And then coming down the side, again, obviously your M door mirror is where they have that sort of aero flick that goes to meet the A pillar there. The side cameras on either door mirror there as well. And then being an M car, carbon roof, again, in our opinion, you'd much rather have a carbon roof. You can option a sunroof on these, but not many people did it because it kind of defeats the point, adds a lot of weight that's unnecessary. In the door mirror, just before we go inside, blind spot monitoring on the edge of the door mirror there. So that triangle will illuminate orange if somebody is in your blind spot. And then if you have a look inside, you'll see the interior with that sort of silver carbon effect trims on the dashboard, the massive sat nav screen, all touch screen. Lots of features to talk you through when we go through the interior because there's quite a lot of cars that don't have heated steering wheels, uh, heated rear seats, all of that sort of thing. And I actually think a lovely feature in this car that, that makes it a lovely place to be at night time is the beautiful ambient lighting, which is all configurable, but it's all the way through the door cards and the dashboard. And it really does make a big difference when you're in the car. Privacy glazing to the back three quarters and then the gloss black window surrounds just to carry on that gloss black theme. And if you have a look in the back, You'll easily carry five adult passengers in this car, not a problem at all. Four zone climate control, heated rear seats as well for the two outer rear seats. Harman Kardon sound system. Again, the ambient lighting continuing through the back of the car. It's just a lovely, lovely example. And then coming around the back of the car, being an M5, you get this sort of small spoiler lip on the boot here which again just makes it look different to a standard 5 Series. And this car's also got uh, some M Performance carbon fibre style exhaust tips there as well. So it has got a cost option over and above standard, which does not include the exhaust tips, is the M Performance Sports exhaust system, which this car is fitted with. Uh, it's about £2,000 option from new. It's quite expensive because it gives you titanium pipes through the car. Um, and there's a switchable exhaust button inside the car, which we'll show you afterwards as well. Power tailgate reverse camera on the boot there as well. And because it's an M5, it's extremely practical. So you've got a very long boot going a long way back. The middle seats will fold down with the levers on either side here. Um, and there's just lots of storage space for you. There is storage under the boot floor as well, but it's, you, know, you don't really need it. And then that will close the boot down nicely. And then I'll jump in the driver's side now and we'll talk you through some of the interior options as well. So the seats are extremely comfortable and there's something I, I'll want to tell you about with the seats when we turn the car on, but we'll come back to that. On the driver's door card, all the Silverstone Merino leather and it's extended leather. So all of this is Merino leather, really nicely done with the contrast gray stitching. 
power folding door mirrors, all electric windows as you would expect, and then memory settings for the electrically adjustable seats for driver and passenger. Harman Kardon sound system as we touched on before, a power boot button down there as well, easy access for the driver. Your electric seat adjustment down here, and just before I turn the car on, so the seats have pneumatic uh, bolsters, so when you turn the car on, it will actually uh, sort of fold the seat around you in your position, so when you put your seatbelt on, this, you'll feel the seat tightening. It's very clever how it does it, it just tries to uh, fit to you basically every time, so you don't really need to adjust the seat other than position, uh, so it's very clever, but you can turn that on or off if you don't like it, but I think it's extremely useful. And then this multi-function uh, three-spoke steering wheel here, heated, again, a cost option to have that heated, heated front seats as well as the rear seats that we touched on before. And then the M3 colored stitching across is a really nice feature. And you've got your customizable M buttons there as well. Your buttons for your adaptive cruise control on the left-hand side here. So you'll notice some of the cars don't have the two buttons top or bottom there. That's to do with the adaptive cruise control. It does have small steer assist as well. So it will keep you within the lanes on the motorway if you've got that setting turned on. Keyless start, so I'll just fire it up. And it sounds incredible, as you would expect. Um, and if you have a look through me, it, when it fires up, the car has got an M heads up display. So at the moment, it will just show the basic settings. If you put the car into the uh, M modes, it will um, change, which I'll show you in just a second. So you'll see it's gone to that sort of M. It's almost like a digital rev counter that you'd have in a race car. So it's really clever. And the dials have gone a bit more red down here. But I'll just pop it back into normal mode for the time being. Electric steering column adjustment, so forwards, backwards, in and out. And then on the indicator stalk, you've got the automatic high beam button that we touched on before, part of those adaptive uh, LED headlights. Touchscreen navigation uh, system up here, infotainment system. It's a massive screen, it's got wireless Apple CarPlay, so if you've got an Apple phone and you connect it, it will come up wirelessly on the CarPlay huge navigation screen with live traffic as you can see from sort of the red and amber bits on some of the main roads. And if I pop the car into reverse we've got the, because uh, the doors open it's giving us a warning message but we've got the 3D surround camera system so obviously the driver's doors open at the moment but you can touch on here and you can display different bits so if you're pulling in like around a fence post for example it's a really useful angle or parking against the curb to make sure that you're not going to curb the wheels on the car. Very clever system. It's got park assist as well, so the car will park itself if you trust it to do so. Dual zone climate in the front, dual zone in the back, so four zone climate control, again, we touched on earlier on. Wireless phone charging pad down there, so you can just pop your phone in whilst you're driving along and it will charge itself. And that sports exhaust button, which we mentioned down here, so that will change the uh, note of the car very slightly. More noticeable when you're revving it or driving it at speed. Huge storage under the center console, and it's just a fabulous place to be. And the last, uh, sort of item to mention before I jump outside the car. This car's fitted, again, a dealer fit option, but a very expensive one. The car's fitted with BMW Advanced i 2.0, so that's BMW's dash cams, front and rear. So they're pre-fitted by BMW in the car. It will all connect through the BMW Connected app if you've got that on your phone, so it's very clever how it works. You'll just need to put some SD cards in it, and off you go. Um, and I'll just turn the car off and jump outside now. So as we mentioned at the start, a two owner example from new, just over 24,000 miles with a fabulous list of cost options in the best color scheme in our opinion. It's just a really, really nice example. And another thing like I forgot to mention at the start, the car's fitted with a Metatrack VTS tracker as well. So hopefully help with your insurance and just a bit more security for owning the vehicle. Uh, my name's Ben. I hope the video's helped. Thank you very much for watching.